Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel called Demon Storytime. Thank you so much guys for coming, for your likes, for your comments, for your donations, for your shares, for subscription, for any kind of support, you are amazing. Today we continue reading Grimm's Fairy Tales and our story is The Water Nix. One day, long ago, in a land far away, a little brother and sister were playing by a well. They ran about in the sunshine, happily changing each other until the little girl tripped. However, she toppled into the well. Her brother reached out to saw her, but he over balanced and fell in two. Unfortunately, a uh, mischie mischievous water sprite, sprite called a uh, nix lived down below. She was delighted to see the two children come splashing into the water and she grabbed them saying, Got you! Now you will live with me and do all my hard work. And the water nix pulled them down to the bottom of the well. The children were astonished to see that the world at the bottom of the well was very similar to the world above that they had left. The water nix nix dragged them off to her house and set them to work. The little boy had to chop down trees for firewood. With the blunt axe, the little girl had to sit at a spinning wheel and spin tangled dirty flax. Then they had to fetch water for the cottage. But the buckets the Nix gave them had holes in them. All the Nix gave the children to eat was dumplings, as hard as stones. How miserable the children were. They were tired and hungry and they missed their own home and family terribly. Oh. Here is the drawing of children working. Yeah. <clears throat> At last, a chance came for the children to escape. One Sunday, the water nix put on her best clothes and went to see a friend. As soon as she was over the hill, and out of sight, the two children took each other by the hand and ran off, as fast as their little legs would carry them. When the nix returned from her visit and found her servants gone, she was furious. She growled and gnashed her teeth and set off after them with huge long strides. The little boy and girl felt the earth begin to shake and as they ran, they looked behind them. The water nix was coming. Oh my god. Quick as lightning, the little girl took her hairbrush from her pocket and threw it behind her. While the children kept running, the hairbrush grew and grew until it was a hill covered in sharp spikes that blocked the water nix path. The water nix roared with rage. Slowly she scrambled all the way up and over the hill and although the thousands of sharp spikes stopped her a million times, she did not stop. <laughs> the children could not, could once more heard the water nix gaining on them, yelling and cursing all the time. 
Then the little boy took his comb from his pocket and threw it back over his shoulder. While they kept running, the comb grew and grew until it became a steep cliff covered in a forest of deadly spears. The water nicks howled and bellowed with fury. Very slowly she crawled over and around and through the spears and I'll thought they jabbed her painfully on all sides. She still did not stop. The wind blew her hot panting breath onto the back of the children's necks. They glanced behind and saw the nicks clo closing in one them. Uh, the children threw thrust their hand thrust their hand in their pockets. All they had left was the little girl's pocket mirror. The little girl threw it behind her as far as she could. While the children kept running, the pocket mirror grew and grew until it was a mountain made entirely of glass. It was so slippery that it was impossible for the Nyx to cross it. All she could do was go home to fetch her axe, so she could come back and chop the glass mountain to bits. But the children kept running, and when the water nix finally returned and demolished, demolished the glass mountain, they were long gone. How the nix growled and gnashed her teeth. The little boy and girl found their way back home, and there they lived happily ever after. Yay. <laughs> Unlike the water nix who had only her wicked self for company. There she is. The wicked. Uh, the mountain of glass. That's it my dear. See you next time. Bye.